going out back, out back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. G'day, it's Taro here from Sunland Caravans, and today we're going to have a look at this beautiful 18 foot 6 blue healer. It has got a heap of options on it, I'll point them out as we go along. We'll start at the front and see how we go. First of all, we'll start off with the Sunland chassis. So, Sunland chassis, if you're not aware, is a combination of steel and aluminium. The reason we do this is it makes the chassis a lot lighter. In a size, this size van, we're probably talking about 150 kilos lighter than a steel only chassis, but it is also very, very strong. In fact, stronger than a steel only chassis. I put a 20 year warranty on it because we're really, really um, confident in, that, in this chassis. We have been using it for a number of years and now we use it across the board on all our vans in the Sunland range. Nothing beats the Sunland chassis. We start at the front here, we've got a DO35 hitch, ratchet handbrake, Manutech jockey leg, all standard features across the board in the Sunland range. In this case, these, this, these customers have decided to put their two 9 kilo gas bottles on the A-frame, which is not seen that often these days, but it does allow for a lot more storage. And you see this beautifully powder coated Gullwing toolbox there. You have got that much room either side in the toolbox, so heaps and heaps of storage. As we move down the side of the van, we've also got the through boot. So this through boot is a coast four door, so the bigger of the two doors we use, and gives you all that additional storage space there, so a huge amount. Of course, this is a sandwich panel composite fiberglass van. We do, do this as our exclusive construction method these days. Super lightweight, super strong, but also really, really good insulation as well, which really helps on those hot or cold days. External table, so that's, that's just a normal little um, external table. Lifestyle.com is where that one's from. Suspension. We've got the Cruise Master XT Auto Airbag Suspension, which is an option for this model. Here's our controls here, level four auto. We've got our airline out, we've got our manual and automatic controls, and we can adjust the side, the, the suspensions up and down from side to side, which gives you that ability to be able to level the van if you're on a unlevel surface. External speakers and our entertainment hatch as well. So here we've got our 240 power, we've got 12 volt power, we've got our antenna jacks there and our bracket there for our TV, so all you need to do is lift the TV off the wall inside, slot it in there, and away you go. We've got a manual awning here. I haven't put this out because we've just been a bit lazy, really. But yes, we've got the manu manual awning there as a standard feature. As we move around to the back, we've got a hot water system, which is actually located in the rear hatch here. So we've got the Gerard Instant Gas Only Hot Water System, which is located neat neatly underneath the seat in the shower, underneath our fiberglass shower. I've got to mention this has also got disc brakes. So it's got the auto airbags suspension and the disc brakes. That's what the actuator is there. We've got two water tanks. So we've got a 190 litre and a 60 litre water tank, the standard feature on this van. So two pumps, filter for the, for the drinking water tank. Also, we have a 130 litre grey water tank as well. We've got a nicely powder coated hammer tone finished rear bumper, which integrates our LED tail lights and our number plate lights. Up the top there, we've got a Safety Dave rear versing camera or rear camera. These have also got, this van's also got a gas heater and that's the outlet for the gas heater, you'll see there. As we move around to the side, we go to our power system. So in this case here, we've got three batteries, three 150 amp hour lithium batteries. So 450 amp hours in total lithium batteries. You'll see we're using bus bars to connect those batteries there. We have got this additional space to be able to allow you to fit more batteries later down the track as if, you, if you'd like as well. On top of that, we've got four solar panels, four 200 watt solar panels on the roof. So 450 amp of lithium, 800 of solar, and then we've got our inverter here, which is the Victron Multipass 3000 watt inverter. This is also gives us, all, this is the brains for the battery system as well. So that's your solar regulator, your DC to DC charger, all nice and neatly in, in that rear compartment there. We've got fuses, we've got fuse diagrams and other white diagrams so you can work out exactly what you're looking at. Let's have a look inside the van. Okay, so now we're inside the van. We'll start at the front of the van as usual. Being an 18 foot six van, the mattress is a little bit shorter than our 20 foot six van. So this is an 1880 long mattress and by 1530 wide. So it's a full queen width, just that little bit shorter. And that's really just because we can't get around the bed um, with the longer mattress. So that's the only reason we've done that. These guys have picked some beautiful colors in this van. I am really, really happy with the color scheme they've gone with. Um, I love this, um, this color gray. I'm not sure what we call this, but I love this color gray starlight board. As you'll see, we've got two overhead cupboards above the bed all on gas struts. We've got our two robes side by side with a CPAP cutout, or just a cutout that allows you to charge devices in the bottom of the robe. In this case, they put shelves on this side. You can have hanging space if you prefer. 240 power and 12 volt power there in the robe, plus a big drawer underneath there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video, but it is a big long drawer. 
which is good for storage. We've gone with the double front windows. So Blue Healer normally would have single front windows, but in this case, we've gone with the double front windows. These are our Aussie Traveler windows with a full block out blind and a black fly screen there as well, which is a midget proof screen. I'll keep them close for the, for the videos because it's better for lighting. Of course, we've got a gas heater. I told you we've got the gas heater in the back of the van. There's the gas controls, heater controls there. So you don't even have to get a bed to turn the gas um, heater on, which is excellent. Dinette, so we've got a conventional cafe dinette with this beautiful leather as well. This is genuine leather. We've got our table pod here, which gives you 12 volt power, USB, USB and um, 12 volt socket. We've got our battery monitor there, which also gives us a few other readings as well. We've got an inverter charger control. You can actually even change the rate of charge. It's on 10 at the moment, but I can actually change that up or down depending on what you want. We've got our water tank gauges. So like I said before, we've got two water tanks, 190 liter for your general purpose and 60 for your drinking, plus a 240 power point there as well. Okay, this, this laminate they've chosen here is becoming very, very popular. This is a, this wood grain look um, is nice and earthy toned along with this um, style light they've gone with the bottom there. I think this really looks quite nice. And of course that, that gray overheads like we've got at the front of the van as well. 24 inch LED TV is standard. You can upgrade a lot of things, but these guys have just gone with the standard when it comes to this stuff and that's fair enough. Big stainless steel sink. We've got our general purpose water tank um, there and we've got our filtered drinking water tank there all coming out of the one spout pumps aren't on. Our standard cooking. So there's lots and lots of different options with cookings these days and we give you um, plenty of chances to decide which way you want to go. In this case, we've just gone with three gas burners and one electric burner, plus a gas grill as well. Underneath that, you've got your pot drawers, pot drawer there. Have plenty of storage, we've got three drawers, plus this cupboard here with a shelf, shelf there, which will give you plenty of additional storage for your bigger items, like air fryers and what, coffee machines and whatnot. And then on this side here, we have a pantry as well, which has got the higher size of them, so things shouldn't jump out of there when you go off-road. Microwave, of course. Range hood, that does um, vent to the outside of the van too, so it goes right out the back and out the side, so you, it doesn't recirculate the air inside the van. We've got a little stereo up here, our water pumps, out outdoor speaker controls, and a little shelf here, which has 12 volt and 240 power in there. Perfect if you want to charge devices. Um, while you're on the go, like iPads and stuff like that. On this side of the van, we have our 12 volt compressor fridge. So this is the D Dometic compressor fridge. That's the 190 liter version. You can option up to go to the next size, which is about 220 liters. But I think 190 liters is big enough for most of us. And then the ensuite. So I've been an 18 foot six. This has got a little bit smaller ensuite than our other vans, but it still quite spacious enough. Five glass vanity top, built-in integrated sink. We've got our washing machine underneath there, which is 2.6 kilo top loader washing machine. You can, has got the ability to fit a front loader washing machine there if you wish at some stage. We've got this nice mirror here with the backlight, the backlit light. We've got our sensor light here on the ceiling. We've got big overhead cupboards in, in both sides. And we even have a linen press here in the corner. So a lot of additional storage here in the ensuite. Of course, you've got the shower. So the shower is a fiberglass shower. One piece fiberglass with a sloped floor towards that grate, a built-in seat, which is fantastic. And check out this new hatch. So this is a new hatch that we've decided to use in replacement of the Jensen hatches that we've been using for many, many years. These are actually really, really nice. You have a built-in fan. You manually wind, that, wind it up and, and down. And it also has built-in LED lights as well. Much quieter than the old Jensen hatches. And it's got two speeds as well. I think most people will be really, really happy with that new hatch. So that's the 18 foot six blue healer. If you'd like any more information on this van or any of the Sunland range, head to sunlandcaravans.com.au or give us a call here at the factory and make an appointment and come and see me in person. We'll be Michael and myself are more than happy to walk you through the factory and show you how we build our beautiful vans. If you like this, like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to this channel for more videos coming through in the near future. Have a great day. They'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you, and one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. Hey back!
So tell your friends this place that you have found And tell the world it's better than it sounds Say come and see our country's best by far You'll find me there, Where? out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia Where friends, they will shake your hand They'll always say day. They'll wave as you're passing through They'll help in every way But most of all, they'll welcome you And one day you will say I'm going out back, out back Australia 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 See you there!